Hi, I'm Vicky from Rockstars and Royalty. Today I'm going to show you how to shape and how to wear your birdcage veil. To shape your veil, you're going to need an iron with lots of steam. You're going to need either a polystyrene head, which you can get in a lot of craft stores, or you're going to need something quite round. I've got this bowl that I found in my kitchen. And you'll need some pins and your veils, which you can see are quite flat when they first arrive. First of all, I'm going to show you how to steam your veil into shape using a polystyrene head. If you haven't got one of these, you can use a polystyrene ball or anything that you can put pins into that won't be affected by the heat. So you start by pinning your comb onto the top of the head. I use glass headed pins because then there's no danger of them melting from the heat and from the steam. If you use plastic ones, they might melt and leave a little bit of plastic on your veil and ruin it. So once you pin the top, you need to start pinning it around the sides and pulling it down. Next, maybe do one down at the bottom on the chin. You can see it's starting to pull it into that nice round shape that's going to sit beautifully over your face when you wear it. So keep pinning and pulling it out. And then the other side. When you're happy with the shape you've got and how your pleats are sitting at the top, all you have to do is get your iron, tip it up till it starts steaming, and get the steam all over the net. And this will set it into the shape that you want it to be. So once it's had a good steam, all you need to do is leave it to cool. If you don't have a polystyrene head or some polystyrene or something you can pin into, you can use anything that's a nice round ball shape. So I found this bowl in my kitchen cupboard. I'm going to show you how to do it on here. So to do it this way, I hold the front of the veil and then let the weight of the comb pull it down the other side. And then we just do the same again take our iron and hold it till the steam comes out and steam all the way around and then while it's still warm you can just use your hands to hold it in place while it cools down and this will help set it into shape but now you've got your veils steamed and in shape i'm going to show you how to wear them so let's take the green one that we steamed over the bowl and here's how to pop it in now, depending on where you wear it on your head and how far back depends on the angle and how it sits over your face. So if you pop it at one side and quite far forward, it's going to sit nicely over your face like that. If you're not happy with the shape, you can just re-steam it or you can pop a little bobby pin in just to hold it exactly where you want it to. So with this one, if we put two bobby pins, that will just sit really neatly there. You can see it's a lovely ball shape so it's held right off her eyes so you can wear big false eyelashes with it and they're not going to catch on the net. If you wanted to wear it straighter all you need to do is pop your comb more central. Pop it in the middle like that. It's going to sit higher up and across the forehead like this. You can do the same thing central and further forward as well and again just a couple of bobby pins will hold it exactly where you want it to sit. And you can change it during your event as well if you wanted it over your eye for your wedding and then out of your face for reception, you can just move it further back. And you can slide other hair pieces and accessories in behind the combs as well if you wanted to add some fresh flowers or other decorations behind it just to change it up a bit. The one we steamed on the head with the bow on it, this is how the bow looks. Sit your bow up a bit and it looks super cute. I love them. I don't think they're just for weddings, I think they're for fun for whatever event you want to wear them to. I wear them out quite frequently. <laughs> I think they're really cute. Thanks for watching! Thank you!